Greetings to all of my friends around the world. Yes, it's good to be with you today. This is Raymond Mayfield Ministries, and I'm really glad to be able to come to you today. If you're looking for me on the internet, you can find me in many places, RaymondMayfield.com, and that will take you to several places. I'm on Twitter and Facebook, LinkedIn, and several other outlets you can find me on. I appreciate you hearing me, and I trust I'm a blessing to you in this video today. I want to talk about John the Baptist today. What a great preacher he was. What a anointed man of God he was. I want to talk about him a little bit because his dad was named Zechariah and his mother was named Elizabeth and they were elderly people. He was a priest. Zechariah was a priest and he served the Lord great. The Bible says he was a good man and Elizabeth was a good woman. And because of that, they were blessed with God of having a child they were they were elderly and they were they had prayed for that God would give them a child, but uh, Elizabeth had been barren, so she finally was told by the angel that she was going to have a child, and uh, Zechariah doubted that, and he was dumb after that and couldn't speak until this event actually happened. So it was an amazing thing. Even Mary, that gave birth to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to visit her, and when she was six months pregnant, and she saluted her. Uh, the baby jumped in her womb and was full, and Elizabeth was full of the Holy Ghost. And I'm sure that John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's wombs too. Isn't it a great thing how God can use things like this and what a wonderful visit it was. It tells us in the Word of God in Mark 1 and 3 that, that John the Baptist was a voice crying in the wilderness. He was saying, prepare the way of the Lord. He preached a strong message on repentance. He was called the Baptist because he baptized everyone that got saved under his ministry. He was a strong believer in the baptism, and that was something that he wanted to cleanse people by, cleansing them in water, and also to fulfill all righteousness. One of the great things that happened in the Bible when Jesus came to be baptized of John the Baptist and John the Baptist was reluctant to baptize him because he was the son of God. But Jesus said, let all things be fulfilled. And so John baptized the son of God. What a wonderful honor that must have been to baptize the son of God. And he baptized him and Jesus saw the heavens open. The Holy Spirit in the form of a dove came and landed on his shoulder. And the Lord spoke out of heaven and said, this is my beloved son in whom I well pleased. Uh, and so what a baptismal service that was that day out there in the wilderness. Us. You know, uh, an unusual person was uh, ab absolutely uh, John the Baptist because it says in the Bible that his food was locusts and, and honey. I'm sure he must have had some other things to eat besides that, but out in the wilderness there was a lot of poor people and it was not uncommon for people to eat this kind of food. Uh, uh, I, I don't think I've ever had any locusts eat before. You know that I guess he could be called a vegetarian. I don't know what he could be called, but I want to tell you he had camel's hair and he had uh, he was a very plain man and he just lived in the wilderness. There was nothing that you could see that about his beauty that would entice you. But the Bible says all of Jerusalem, all around surrounding areas, went out to hear this great man of God to preach. He was a, he was told it like it was. He was he didn't pull any strings whatsoever. He told the truth, and he told people that they need to get right with God and prepare their way for the Lord. We need to hear that same message today. That message is still real today. Jesus is coming soon, and we need to get ready to meet Him in the clouds of glory. Oh, I tell you what, and and He preached everywhere, and then He made this uh, decision one time. He was arrested. And, and in Herod's, under Herod's temple, they had dungeons there. They were terrible places to stay, infected with probably all kinds of insects and everything. And he stayed there and, and it was a terrible place. And he began to doubt Jesus. Is this really, are you really the son of God? He sent a disciple to ask Jesus. And Jesus replied, go tell John the lame are walking, the blind are seeing, and so on. And John the Baptist's ministry didn't include healing and things of that much. Uh, things of that much. Uh, 
But even old John the Baptist said earlier, said, I'm not even worthy to reach down and let latch his latches. Uh, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. So what a great preacher John the Baptist was leading up to Jesus. His death was a terrible thing because he spoke out against Herod because he had a woman that he was not supposed to be involved with. He spoke out about his immorality and, uh, and it caused him his death and he was beheaded. But folks, I want to tell you, he was a great man of God, John the Baptist. Jesus said there's never been a greater prophet than John the Baptist. He paved the way. Jesus said he was a great man and a great prophet. Folks, I want to tell you, let us learn from this man of God and let us seek Jesus Christ with all our heart. Even John the Baptist said, I must decrease and he must increase. Uh, and that's the message today. We all must decrease and Jesus must increase. Uh, and God's message moves on. Let us move in the will of God and obey God. This is Raymond Mayfield. Thank you so much for listening to the broadcast today.